that were used as part of the fortification of this area uh, for the people guarding it. I, I, you know, thinking of the war, this is probably one of the safest places to, to be hiding out when the, when the US, US uh, is bombing, bombing mm. raids started. So we're going to see some caves that go in and it can accommodate quite a few people. So. See the, it says as fallopy, mm -hmm. as fallopy. And then it says, in the, the blue part, it says Kanat Falapi. All right. Where's Kanat? There, Kanat Falapi, Falapi, the blue. All right, that's right, where we're going. Right, right. So we are at, as Falapi is this area, Kanat Falapi is specifically that drainage going up up the hill. What is uh, there, there, I'm sorry, there. What does Kanat mean? Huh? What does the word Kanat? Kanat? Yeah. Valley. Valley. valley okay. Yeah. Drainage. No. Kanat is like, a, more like a valley. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's uh, he's bored. <laughs> so I'm here with my friend Justin. Say hello to the world, Justin. Or here. <laughs> or these my my five my five subscribers. You can say hi. Hi. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be visiting some Japanese caves, caves that were built during the Japanese era on Saipan, which was somewhere in between the Chinese time or the Japanese time. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir. What's up? Somewhere in between uh, end of World War One and 1945, when the U.S to control. So our expert tour guide is Pat Calvo. Expert? <laughs> and really, you know more than me. Oh, well, he's been here for a long time, so yep. he should know. Yeah. And our other trucking member is Mel. It's Justin's mom. It's not Edible? No, no. So Benalu. that's poison? No, no. It's just a native tree. It's called Benalu. That's not edible? No. The, the tree there is very, grows real good on the shoreline. It's a hardwood. And this is taro to the right here? Yes. That, actually, that the, is the elephant one. ear. Okay. Right. Look at it. In contrast, that is taro. Oh, okay. You see how? So there's no taro. Um, uh, no, that's more, it? more. It's a taro family, but it doesn't. It's not edible. It actually makes you itchy. Okay. This is the one. This is called Henalulu taro. Well, if you get this has mind. two birds going on the side of it, not just straight up and down. You guys go ahead. I noticed uh, when I was driving in that mm -hmm. there was some property. Uh, people have property that has. Uh, bananas growing on them. Yes. And the, um, the number of bananas that I saw is was unusual because uh -huh. typically when I see like um you know banana trees, yeah. it's one out of every ten right, right. is actually bearing fruit. Mm -hmm. This one is like every every other one. Now is that a function of the bees and the butterflies and pollination? What would account for that? Uh, I in think it's the maturity of the, the the plants. If they're all planted in the same time and they all mature at the same time, then they would all fruit, basically. Like oh, that, what's okay. a, that's a drainage. During the heavy rains, this could be a river coming okay. down like in the storms. This is not a road anymore. You're going to see big rocks rolling mm -hmm. down this, <laughs> really. There's probably like a foot of water coming down. To, I used to live in this property in here. I had a house in there too. Had a house in there. So why would they, why would them being planted and maturing at the same time account for 
the um, greater proliferation of of flowering and because they're you know the the plant itself has a like a, a year growth period. Okay. So from the time you plant it, it would fruit within 10, 12 months. Right. So if you planted 20 of them, mm -hmm. all 20 theoretically should be fruiting at the same time. Right. But right. The, the, the actual act of fruiting, the process that results in the fruiting, mm -hmm. um, I'm not a botanist, but yeah. I, I thought that was related somehow to the pollination by bees and... I don't, I, no? I don't know. I don't know that the bananas are re reliant on bees for pollination. Okay. I don't think so. I, they don't flower and I don't see bees. Does it know. have anything to do no, with him being male, male or female? Uh, no, I, I think okay. they're, all, they're all female. As a matter of fact, I don't see them. Okay, here's here the start. Where you plant the plant is where you plant the yam and over here is where the yeah. caves are, right? Yeah, this is the all drainage. Right. It starts here. So this is like a valley going this way. Okay. Make sure you point it out if you see it. So this is a valley and you can see how the water coming down from the mountain has carved out a basically a riverbed. That we're now walking through. I wonder if animals could have under there. <laughs> she screams. Ah, quiet. She rolls down the hill. Right. Her life. I've been here before once and I remember okay. this part. This would be a nice place to meditate. Absolutely. Wait until we get farther. Yep, your memory should be good at your age. This fruit I need to identify. Okay. I, it's like a jackfruit. I don't know what it is, but it grows up this drainage. Actually, you, you see these trees? That's what they are. Okay. I mean, that, this is the fruit from those. You can see some of them back in the field. The fruits are hanging in the field. Oh, I just realized. But somebody said this is edible. I've cut it open. In mm -hmm. fact, you might want to just cut this one open with your machete. Hold it. Make sure you don't like do medicine. Uh, it's like It's like jack fruit. Watch out there. Now, take a look at that. Yeah, you smell it. It's like jackfruit. Here, let me see your machine. Let's cut it that way. Long ways. I just rem I just figured out that we're in the drainage now. And look. That's a different one I know. What? I want to climb up there. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oops. Yeah, it looks edible. Yeah. You want to try? No. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got this and they ate it. I, yeah. I said, hey, more power to you. I'll see you later. No. But I want to identify it first. Oh, the machete, don't just be. And I got it. Uh -huh. Some on my water bottle. So I guess I might be tasted <laughs> already. <laughs> Let us know if it's poison, huh? Right? Yeah. <laughs> cool. This is a seeded breadfruit uh, seed. And it's beginning to grow. But the other half of it, you can see, it would be that size of that big of a nut okay. would be Your edible nut. and what's seeded seeded breadfruit how is that different from a regular breadfruit the breadfruit is just you know breadfruit but there's no these seeds would not Seed. be in it the seeded breadfruit is similar a little bit smaller but right. these seeds would be in it the breadfruit we eat the actual fruit mm -hmm. 
the seeded breadfruit, we eat the nuts. Ah, so we wait for okay. it to mature, drop, and then we pick it off the ground and boil them as nuts. Okay. And then we eat them. Yeah. And is the taste of the seeded breadfruit such that you don't want to eat it? or No, it, it's <laughs> so, good. But? Uh, and it, it's actually a good source of protein. Oh, okay. The seeds. Know, the seeds, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. The one, uh, Pat, this is the one I see on, he's gone, <laughs> on Tinian, that I want to know what it is as I scream and upset the Tauta Mona. I, all right, I see this one on Tinian near the um, Shinto shrine. That's called a fish kill tree. Ah, okay. That's the seed of a fish kill tree. Finally, okay. <laughs> I keep telling my guests that I'll, my tour clients, that I'll let them know when I find out. Easy okay. to remember, fish kill. Okay, and why is it called fish kill? I think because it's poisonous. To fish. Yeah, for fish in the water. Yeah. Justin, want a bite? No. <laughs> <laughs> Only fish can kill, but human cannot. It's not called boy kill. <laughs> <laughs>